we were talking about being in the delivery room. And uh, my second daughter, my wife swore was going to be a boy. We didn't have a girl, girl's name picked out. Didn't have it. And she said, it's, it's a boy. No need to have a girl's name. Well, she has a girl. Well, we don't have a name. We didn't have anything. And all of a sudden, you know, they say, uh, well, you know, you got to put something down on the birth certificate. You got to name your child when you leave the hospital. And my wife ended up naming her Emily. And I, let's get out of here. We had no reason to name her Emily. She's just like, um, Emily. I'm like, all right, let's get out of here. Six weeks later, I come home doing Sports Center. She goes, she's not an Emily. I go, six weeks. Yeah. I go, wait. What? What? Okay. So, uh, what are we doing? Uh, I got to change your name. I go wait. Okay. So we got all these gifts that had like Emily on it. You know, things embroidered. I mean, you know, we had a a, a little uh, chair had Emily on it. I said okay. So we have to go down to City Hall and change her name. Well, we have a woman who comes over, and she is going to help with the the babies. And she finally comes up to me and she goes, whatever happened to Emily? And I go, oh, no, that's, that's my, th- we, we renamed her. Like, you had all this stuff with the baby and she goes, you know, there's no kids named Emily here. And she thought something happened to Emily and we just named, you know, we changed my daughter's name to Georgia. Yes, Paul. Did you send all the Emily stuff to Panama, like the team that loses no, the Super Bowl? No, no. But it was just weird. You had all this stuff, Emily, and it wasn't for... It was for my daughter who we changed her name. Yeah, Paul. Last question. At what point did you tell your daughter her original name was not what it was? Like, was she 10, 11, 12? Or? No, no. I mean, she loves her name. Right. But was it ever a she discussion? No, no, no. No, she didn't care. <laughs> she was like, oh, yeah, I'm not an Emily. I go, yeah, you're not. But uh, she's probably five, maybe, that we told her. <laughs> I don't know if she fully understood it. And then the other kids thought, well, can we change our names? I'm like, no, no, no. You're not changing your names. The, the, we like your names. You were good. Yes, Marv. Did you guys tell anybody what you were going to name the baby before the baby was born? I thought that was no. my biggest mistake. No, don't. Yes. Oh, You're right. Great point. I said people are so stupid. Well, my mother-in-law always <laughs> Family had members. somebody that she knew who died in a tragic subway accident <laughs> or, you know, a woman who had a mole on her face. Like, no matter what name we mentioned, she might. Oh, that reminds me. And I go, oh, God. So <laughs> don't tell anybody it's best if you don't. It, it doesn't help. Yes. You. So there's a flip side to that, though, mm-hmm. where you don't tell anybody. And we're like, well, we're not telling anybody. We're just going to announce the name. And then it uh, becomes labeled a surprise. Mm-hmm. It's going to be a surprise for everybody. Mm-hmm. And then there could be expectations that you're naming your child after someone in the family. Mm-hmm. And maybe you're actually not. And then there's a bunch of people that are like, oh. <laughs> Did that happen to you? I'm not saying it happened to me, but I just noticed that some people were slightly underwhelmed when told <laughs> what the name of the, my child was. Uh, or any child, really. That's When we got our first child home, my son, and we named him Jack. And my mother-in-law said, I will not call him Jack. That's a grown-up's name. And I'm getting into an argument with my mother-in-law. And I said, well, then you're not calling him anything. And then, so we get into this really, you know, tense argument. And we have to call my wife who's still in the hospital. And she says, what? Don't do this to me. You know, I just gave birth to this huge baby and you're arguing over this. And uh, so I said, call him Jackie then. So she called him Jackie for the longest period of time. She refused to call him Jack. And it was named after my dad. Yes, he I think the other thing, too, is uh, if you know somebody who's having a baby, you don't have to offer up your opinion on names. Because I also had people be like, well, what are you going to name a kid? Uh, I don't know yet. Well, whatever you don't name him Liam. I hate the name Liam. And like Liam wasn't on our list, but it was just like, why would you tell me that right now? Like, well, whatever you don't name him Liam. God, I hate that name. Like, what? Yeah. Why would you tell me that? Yeah, Paul. But uh, there is some input that some people around the world should have. Like Seton, if you told me, let's say a month before your son was born, that you're considering naming him Connor. I would have taken you outside. I would have said, like, you can't do that to Connor O'Connor. You can't name your son Connor O'Connor. That's where someone has to mm. step in. Mm. You know, if your last name is Nichols and you name your kid Nick, there's got to be something better. Yeah, but don't you think they've thought of that? Clearly not. 
If your name is Daniels and you name yourself Daniel Daniels. Well, then you're an idiot if you don't understand Correct. that. Not even an opinion. It's facts. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Connor O'Connor. <laughs> oh, yeah. It sounds like a serial killer or something. Yes. He would absolutely be a serial Definitely killer. Connor O'Connor. Assassinated a president somewhere. Absolutely. Coming up. Dateline. Connor O'Connor.